Hey, I wanted to share this with you. Um, this is a emergency radio, flashlight, uh, music player, phone charger, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I'm doing this one for my uh, prep channel. I've got, um, but I'll also post it here. So everyone needs an emergency radio around. I've, I'm going to do probably a review of several different ones. I, I have a couple of others. I like this one the best so far. I actually gave this as a gift for Christmas and, and ended up buying one myself. This is the first time I'm opening it here. So I wanted just to show you the unboxing and what it looks like inside when it comes with. So this is the... Uh, it looks like the brand is called Running Snail. I don't really know what the brand is, but I'll tell you the features that I liked about it and why I bought this particular one. There are a couple different brand names on these. Um, this one is a running snail. So, yeah, whatever that means. Um, so it comes with a couple of cords. It comes with an audio adapter cord to go from your, like, your audio player into this so it can use it as a speaker. It also comes with a uh, charging cord, which is a standard micro USB, it looks like, um, to USB for charging. And... Well, thank you card in the box, and then here's the radio. So this is what's cool about this. There's a light in this end, so it's got a flashlight. Uh, you've got your radio. Um, in this end, you've got your charging port for your phone and your recharging for your internal battery, which is kind of cool. You've got a solar panel on the back for charging it up. You've got your antenna on the top. And then you've also got your hand crank for your dynamo, so you can crank it yourself and charge it up. So if you're not familiar with these, this has a little generator built into it where you can crank it up and it charges a rechargeable battery inside and gives you power. If you don't have sunlight in the middle of the night, you want to, you need, you know, emergency radio, you know, whatever, you've got the ability to do that. You can also put three AA batteries in here as well which it doesn't come with. Under this compartment, I suspect is the uh, rechargeable battery that's in there. Um, again, I'm not actually even turned this on yet. I'm probably need to get my glasses. But there's, the, uh, there's the power. And let's see what we got. So the band, you've got, you got AM, FM, you've got weather, weather radio. Georgia. It actually picks up pretty good without even the antenna. Up. So that's it's one of the things I don't like about some of these weather radios. They don't pick up that great. This one seems like it's seems like it's already picking up um, right right out of the box, which is nice. Uh, it also has the different channels you can adjust it to, and then in, if your area has multiple, like I'm in the Atlanta area, there's probably multiple stations it can pick up. It was mostly sunny. Yeah, so there's the one station that's picking up the best right now is 162.45. So there's that. And then you've got your line in for your band back to your FM. And let me just go to a station here. 94.1 locally is usually pretty. Looks like it's picking up quite a few stations. Yeah, it looks like it's got great reception. I mean, it's hitting a lot of, a lot of stations. It has an indicator here too when it's got a good signal. You see, it's it's picking up a signal. You see, the, I don't know if you see that little green light blinking, but they give you a signal strength indicator, which is kind of nice. I really like that because a lot of times you're not sure if you're on it or not, or if it's turned up loud enough. So that's pretty cool. And then um, let's see, what is this here? Okay, that's a siren, like an emergency siren, which is nice. And then uh, let's see if I can figure out how to turn on the, the flashlight, where that button is. Turn that thing on. Uh, here it is, right here on top. So there's a button right there on top. There's your flashlight. So you got a nice, nice flashlight in the end. It's solar powered. You can leave it laying out during the day. It's on an angle, which is nice, and, and the the um, the handle you can also adjust to different angles, so you can hit the sunlight a little bit better, which is which is really kind of cool. Um, so you can get some sunlight in there. Again, you got your hand crank on the bottom, 
flashlight, weather radio, regular radio, and it will charge your phone through your charging port on the end here, which I don't know if you can see that well or not. But yeah, that's there's your charging to charge it up with without having to hand crank it or solar it, and also for your for your phone. Um, so that's it. That's it's a great small. You can see the size of my hand and how small it is. So you can kind of fit that in a bug out bag or your back or your backpack or something. And you know, it's pretty. Seems pretty sturdy. It's not very. You know, if I move it around with my hand, you know, like really try to force it, it doesn't creak or crack or anything, which seems pretty solidly built. Um, which you know, sometimes you don't get with some of these. But again, there's different brands of these. This one's Running Snail. Uh, I think they. You know how China does uh, products, they mass produce them, people OEM them and put their brand name on them. So that's where we're at here. There's different colors of these two. There'll be a link in the description below um, about how to get this and, and where and where to get it from. But I love this little radio and this is going to replace my other emergency radio because it's, you know, more compact. It's got a brighter LED in it. It's got uh, AM, FM and weather, which I think my other one only has weather. So this has got a lot more functions, features, and uh, it's got everything I'm looking for in an emergency radio. And it's a great, great little tool to have around if you need, um, you don't even need power for it, right? You can power it yourself. As long as your hands work and you can turn things, you can, you can turn, do power or leave it out in the sun if you had to during the day, you know, if your hands aren't working. So, you know, if your hands aren't working in emergency, you're kind of screwed anyway. But anyway, um, that's it. That's my review for this, and it's it's a pretty cool little radio. I'm going to enjoy it, um, and I will be adding this to a review of the other two that I have um, and before I get rid of those, <laughs> so because I am downsizing. Believe it or not, all the stuff I'm buying, I am downsizing. Anyway, um, leave your comments below. This is a great little radio. Uh, link is in the description. you got to get you one of these.